The 8-Bit Do Zero controller on this episode of My Tiny Point of View. Alright, back with another episode of My Tiny Point of View, and today we're taking a look at the 8-Bit Do, I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing that right, Zero Controller. It's a company that manufactures retro controllers, and they've done some pr pretty cool stuff. This is the first time I've ever purchased one. Uh, we're gonna be opening this up on this episode and we're gonna be testing it on my girlfriend's Samsung Galaxy 8 tablet. Let's get this open, see what's in here. Now it comes with this wristband. It comes with this very, very small and not lengthy USB charging cable. They got these directions, which are finally in English, unlike that GB Boy color I showcased on Unbox It, which if you haven't checked that video, I'll leave a link in the description down below. I'll also leave a link in the description down below for Monday's episode of Reviews by This Guy on the GB Boy, GB Boy color. It's compatible with Android, iOS, Windows, and Mac OS. And here's the controller. I personally like the color. It's white on the front, uh, right on the back. It's got a blue, uh, baby blue finish, which white and baby blue look pretty nice. But anyway, we have your action buttons, which is X, A, B, and Y. So exactly like the Xbox 360 and Xbox One controllers and others that have imitated it. You got your D-pad, pretty simple D-pad. And I guess this is a select or start or something. And on the top, you got two bumper buttons R and L and you have a micro USB charging port there we go I believe it found it yep 8-bit zero gamepad and that's your throw so X is throw and A is jump so as you see the controller works pretty good after you get it working it was a little bit of a pain in the ass for me I don't know for some reason I had to delete the pairing settings and reset it which it tells you to hold the select button for three seconds it will delete the pairing settings and I had to redo it I don't have anything to throw and switch Anyway, as you see, the controller's working fairly well. Let's see if your PC recognizes it. They say it works. There you go, game controller. Let's click on that. Let's hit pair. Takes an awfully long time for it to pair. Doesn't look like it's gonna pair. That didn't work. Let's try again. Didn't work again. It's not discoverable even though it reads it. Let's turn it back on. rapidly blinking again. I'm having great difficulty connecting this 8-bit do to my PC. Alright, I got this device to work on Android. Took me a little while. It was kind of annoying. I kind of had to hit the select button for three seconds to reset the pairing settings. And I finally got it to work. Now I tried to get this thing to work on my PC. I cannot get it to connect. No matter what I would do, I would turn this thing off, restart it, I would hit the select button for three seconds, try to reset the pairing settings. No matter what I would do, I would get an error message saying that it's not discoverable, even though when I turned the device on, my PC recognized it. I even tried going to the 8-Bit Do website to try to look for some instructions. I still could not, no matter what I did, get this con to connect to my PC. If you're looking for a cool, portable controller to take on the go with your Android cell phone, phone or tablet, i check this 8-bit do out. But, I still like the controller, even though they say it works with PC, I could not get it to work with PC. If you did and you had the problems and found a solution to fix it please leave them in the comments down below if you have any questions about the controller as as always leave them in the comments down below I'll leave a link in the description to this little guy as always thank you for watching another episode of my tiny point of view
please hit that like and subscribe button if you'd like to see more from the Weed Bean channel.